Hey guys, are responsible back with uh, part four of uh, the park. Uh, psychological horror. It got me to jump a couple times last play through part whatever you call it. Uh, so let's see how much it gets me to jump this time because something tells me it is going to escalate even more quickly now. Even more quickly. Because we are finding out now that this lady is kind of crazy. Just a little, a little crazy there. Okay, um, I'm gonna guess to go this way. And the uh, audio is freaking me out. Sound design in this is pretty dang good from uh, my perspective. They're, they're really putting me on edge real good. Hope you guys are, oh. Oh my, that is very scary. Uh, uh, okay. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay. These aren't even like monsters, but they, they're just so good. They get me to jump so well. I'm with you, lady. I am. If I were in your situation, I'd probably just give up, quite honestly. But you are looking for your kid, and apparently you want to prove yourself as a mother. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Then, then do it! Cause I would want to go through this shit, man! I mean, like, I'm kinda with you on that, but damn, you're psychotic! She's crazy! She's actually crazy. Oh my god! Okay, well, you know, um... This is... I always wanted to write this one. Never got around to do it before. She... Her... Th the voice actor's doing really great. Like, she sounded so calm and normal at first. Depressed, probably, is what I, my first impression was. But, like, now she's just plain psychotic. And what, what I find funny is she said the octo... The octopus ride, whatever it was called, the octonaut, uh, made her sick, but now she wants to ride a roller coaster? Like, yeah, okay, lady, I guess. And. Uh, oh my god, what is gonna happen on this ride? <laughs> Alright, let's find out, shall we? <clears throat> I mean, I like roller coasters. Roller coasters are really fun. Oh. We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hard. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm okay. afraid. So... Just... It... Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Oh my god, something weird's gonna happen here. Isn't it? Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Oh! What? The okay, this is cool. Well done. I wish I'd seen what that door said. This is. Oh, he's not there. Oh, God. Not safe? Is that. 
taste your something? Oh shit, it's the freaking mouth. Oh, <laughs> we hit the kid. Did we actually hit the kid? Did we actually hit Callum? Man. Well, this game has turned into a true roller coaster. I'm surprised we haven't seen the chipmunk anymore because I thought he was going to be more of a part of this. I really I have no idea how far we are in this, but okay, let's read this page. Uh, it works! The calculations and adjustments worked. The transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day! If only these people knew what they were fueling. And so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling down? Um, so what if the children are more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality, and such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. Okay. Are we gonna see Chippy the Chipmunk? I know that's not his real name, but I, that's, that's the only name that I can remember him by, Chippy. Chippy the Chipmunk. Where ya at, bro? You in this creepy uh, storage room with this axe in front of it? Oh, well, hey, I found my flashlight that she wanted. Awaits. So yeah, I was right. It's like some like weird symbolic uh, Hansel and Gretel story. I mean, she got her dream, right? Like she always wanted to be Hansel and have her son be- Callum has bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Other way around, sorry. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him. Demanded really to know where he got the marks. You he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. <gasps> he doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. Uh, I can't save him. And there will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. Man, lady, you are fucking insane. <laughs> like, oh, God, man. She's beating her kid now. <laughs> now we're gonna, she's like beating her kid. Either that or. I can't make it out. Problem is I can't turn up my headphones because uh, I'd have to go into my computer settings and I don't really want to do that when I'm in the middle of a game with you guys. Um, yeah, okay, what are we in now? Oh. The Sideshow Alley. Okay, this is one of the places that Chippy will probably be because it was one of the locations they said that he does his... No. Ice sculptures. He sculpts his ice sculptures here. Well, here's plenty of bears that I can lure my kid out with, right? Yeah, totally. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. It's getting darker and darker, isn't it? Okay, cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in park goers' mouths. Uh, yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse... Uh, has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. Ooh. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Ooh. Uh, Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy. I can't. I can't do this kind of thing. Okay. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in in a place that has that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim, and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. <laughs> 
the Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on the story going forward. Okay. I don't want something bad to happen. Okay, cool. <laughs> scared. Scared of... Scared of everything. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Um... I'm not playing anymore, Callum. <laughs> I'm with you, lady. Come back. I don't like that. What is this? What is it doing here? Why? What is the jingly jingle? It's not a game! <laughs> no! <laughs> I hear footsteps, it's scary. I don't like her like weird mental breakdown brain that's like caused- Oh my god, that's- that's- Oh, it's a dead body, cool. Is it Callum? It's gonna like jump at me. Bastard. We did this to him. Is it Callum? Why can't I do anything? I can help you, Callum. Do we? Oh, oh, okay. Well, uh, it wasn't Callum, and there's a creepy clown in the trash can, so, uh. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! No! Oh uh, no! <sighs> well, the body does not seem to appear to have been a hallucination, but you know, I really don't know about this chipmunk guy because I. Holy shit, you guys! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, shit! Holy shit! Oh no, there's something on that now! I hear that voice again. I mean, if we could hear what it was saying, if I could hear what it was saying, I don't know if you guys can. Uh, it's probably f Chippy the freaking Chipmunk. Why? I don't like that jingly. It freaks me the hell out. Okay, take the pills. Take the p Maybe they're anti-anxiety, anti-crazy pills. These are mine. Flags for I couldn't see what they were. Oh my god. All that you love will be carried away. 1980s. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. Fuck gravity. Not safe. Your mother, only dead fish follow the stream. Say no to graffiti. Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. Oh, that's just, yeah, yeah. Um, all that you love will be carried away. Okay, I already read that one. Let's see, what does this one say? I can taste your dreams. Okay, that's interesting. What does that say? Um, can't really see it. But his daughter is hot. Something I, I don't know, I can't read the top part of it. Um Alright, well, I'm supposed to go through that door clearly. Um I'm gonna pick this up in the next video. <laughs> My voice cracking because I don't I don't like this, you guys. This, 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 this is starting to freak me out a little bit. Um pausing this pick this up in the next video. I think it'll be part five by now. Yeah. All right. See you guys then.